Okay, I have this whole pack of, oh, my back. These, these suck. Can't be used in my hair. So I'm not, I'm gonna get rid of them. This goes with it. Okay, got more clear elasties. Got a little uh, thingy. This is for my wedding. Where this in my hair? You know. Just lost another clear elastic. Okay. This, this was actually made by a family friend of, of my husband's family who actually played music with Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny Cash. The Johnny Cash. Can we say that again? He played music with the Johnny Cash. He actually recently, uh, he actually recently just died or just passed away. Um, and they didn't know that about him until after he passed away. But I don't think I'm ready to get rid of that because of it. I don't know him very well, but it's a sweet gift, beautiful gift. I actually got it from my sister-in-law who bought it for me. I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. It's dirty and polka dotty. Um, this necklace... I will keep. I like it. It's kind of statement-y. This necklace I'm definitely going to keep. This is actually used to be my grandma's. Pretty sure it's total costume jewelry. Because I see like rust on it. <laughs> but it's my grandma. Uh, it's actually a choker. I should totally wear this sometime. Anyways, yeah. This is my grandma's. She passed away a couple summers ago. So I would love to keep. Actually, she passed away... It has a nice second summer being married, so five years ago. Yeah. Some more hair clippers. Another one of these thingies I'm just going to toss. Alright, we're getting into some more necklace stuff. This is a pearl necklace my husband got for me, so I will keep that. This is a fake pearl necklace. Uh, just one of the double ones. I am going to keep this. I feel like this is a classic that you should just keep. Another one of those headband sparklies. So I really like it. I'm going to keep that as well. Alright. So I'm going to toss most of these except one. It's so funny. I have memories associated with each of these necklaces. Um, I am totally... My love language is gifts, and so one of these necklaces my aunt sent to me when I was in college and I was having a really hard time, so my roommate turned out to be psychotic. Uh, no, really, like, she apologized a year later, but anyways, uh, like, she, yeah, she just... anyways, uh, basically my aunt sent this to me, it's like, hey, like, you know, feel better, just want you to know you're loved, and so I've kept that necklace, because I've always really liked it, too, and I've worn it a lot, but it's really old, it's, you know, got that smell when you wear it, and so I'm going to get rid of it, I have this one still in dot necklace that I'm trying to, I have the, like, O necklace that used to be really popular, I'm still going to keep this as well, oh, it actually lost a rhinestone, this is still on dot, I'm pretty sure they refund you your money, but, eh, it's getting pretty old. I think I'm going to keep it for now, but I have a feeling I'll get rid of it here soon. Okay, this pile I'm just going to get rid of. Uh, that's an earring. The one's already up there. The rest of my earrings. I'm going to put that up there. I might declutter my earrings, too. Considering I don't think I've worn any of them in, like, a year. Uh, okay, a couple more ponytails. I'm going to keep only two of these big giant green ones. Actually, no, I like the green ones. I'm going to keep those. Okay. This necklace, I bought at Target. I, like, totally fell in love, which I can totally see. It was my style then. Um, but I never could figure out what to wear with it, so I think I wore it, like, twice. I think it's pretty, and I think I could figure out more so what to wear with it now, but it's not my style anymore, so... I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this necklace is really pretty. I've worn it a handful of times, but I won't wear it again. This one I got on our honeymoon, and I'm not gonna wear it. 
not gonna wear it, so I am gonna get rid of it. It's, yeah, I like it's good memories, but I just know I'm not gonna wear it. So we've been married six years now. I can get rid of stuff like that. Just kidding. I love my husband. Um. All right. Lastly, we got two more necklaces here. Just gonna get rid of them. All right, and then we just got some ponytails and stuff in here. So, I don't know yet how I'm going to organize this stuff. My main goal for this video was to just declutter this drawer. Do you guys want to see? Did I show you how? I didn't show you what it looked like from the beginning, but this is what it looks like now. That's what it looks like now. Nice and empty. Here's all this crap that was in it. And then this is all the ponytails and stuff I collected out of it. So, now that you guys are sufficiently nauseous, that was this drawer. So now I need to figure out where I'm putting all this stuff. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, do you guys want me to show you what I'm like? This pile is keeping. This pile is getting rid of, except for these. That's in the wrong pile. It's in the wrong pile. That pile is getting rid of. This is going to the bathroom. And these are going with lashes. And yeah, keeping those over there. So that's that's my pile. That's what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited for this uh, little mini series here to kind of declutter and reorganize my vanity. I've been like wanting to do this series forever, but since my son has been sleeping in here, I haven't been able to actually do it. Hey guys, I thought we'd do another one of these really quick for this drawer. So this is the left side bottom drawer. I just thought we'd do this really quick. This is just my like beauty bags. Let me show you what the bag, what the drawer looks like since I forgot to do that last time. So that's what the drawer looks like. I just thought we'd do this one really quick because there's not a ton of stuff in here to do. I mean, there's a ton of bags, but they're all big. So first things first, getting rid of this one. I really don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to get rid of, so we'll see, because I do end up using most of these. So this bag has held my like ponytails and bobby pins in it for a long time, but I want to find a new place for those, so I may get rid of this bag. This one I really like for traveling, uh, for putting like earrings and ponytails and stuff in, so I guess maybe I will get rid of the, I, mean, I think I will get rid of the pink one. This one is Stella and Dot. I like this bag decently. When it's really full, it doesn't fold very well, but this is my main one that I use for packing, so I will keep that one. This one is one that I've used for brushes, and I really like it. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is one I pack my brushes in. This one I love. My friend got us this for her, like a thank you for her wedding. It says Bon Voyage on it. It's really, really cute. Uh, she's a traveler, like, or she's a traveler. She's a uh, flight attendant. So, anyway, she's a flight attendant. So that's why it says the Bon Voyage. Their theme was like travel. So, anyways, I'm definitely gonna keep that one because I like how big it is. This one is nice, big, pink, sparkly one. I think I will go ahead and keep this one as well. This one. This one is decent for like eye brushes and stuff. I don't know why I don't use this one more. I think I'll keep it. I haven't used it a ton uh, since getting that other brush one, but this would be really nice because I do carry more brushes with me now. So I may get rid of this one, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, this necklace should not be in here, but it is because that's who I am. Um, I like this necklace. My mother-in-law actually got me this necklace for Christmas one year, I believe. So I think I will go ahead and keep this necklace. Um, I have a handful of nail polishes in here, two to be exact. I don't love either of these colors. To me, they're only okay. Um, clearly, and my friend used them, so maybe I'll see if she wants them next time I see her, but I hope I haven't been blurry this whole time. I forgot to refocus this whole bad boy. Sorry, guys. Anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I guess I'll probably just get rid of these. I'll see if someone wants them. I've used, like, they've been used once, I think, and they weren't my favorite, so. I'm going to get rid of them. I decided just now. Okay. And then I have this silver bag. I think. What do I want to do? I have this one, this one. Oh, I need this one. 
I think I will go ahead and get rid of this silver one. I have three, three bare mineral, four bare minerals ones. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this silver one. It's handy to have. Well, yeah, I do like that one a lot for lip stuff. Yeah, I think I will keep that one actually. Keeping that. And then we've also got uh, some Sephora Play bags in here. I'm gonna toss. I got a couple of ponytail things in here. Obviously, gonna keep those. Uh, I have some really a lot darker foundations than what I would wear. These came with the kit that I bought for freelancing, so that's what these are. Yeah, I don't know NC50. I've never used them. It's getting pretty old, but anyways, so that's these. I need to throw these back in my kit. Actually, that's what I need to do. Anyway, so that's this drawer. I told you guys to be nice, quick, easy. Probably just even add it on to the last video. So that's that. So I am not getting rid of a ton. I'm just getting rid of those things there. I'm going to keep these, but I'm going to figure out a better way to organize them. So, anyways. Thank you guys for watching again. Bye.